<laughs> so, so this week at random, the movie came up called Nothing But Trouble, which was absolutely brand new to me. I'd never heard uh, of it before. Now, you, now that is a weird and dog shit movie. That Cecil, Ooh. it's too bad Cecil isn't here because Cecil did a very, what in my opinion. He did an excellent job, but spent way too much time talking about a movie that doesn't deserve. That doesn't deserve it. Way, but, yeah, way, making way too much time. I mean, that sounds like I half say, the movies he talks about. I've never, I've never seen it before, and so I sat down to watch it. And like you say, how weird was this? Because I thought to myself, right, Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, John Candy, good, good, strong cast. It can't, can't be that bad. But it was just, it was, it was, it was so weird. It, I, I, I describe it. I describe it. It's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre family <laughs> comedy. Stop there, you hit oil. I, wasn't it directed and written by Dan Aykroyd? Dan Aykroyd. Uh, it was. It was directed by him and then written by him and his brother Peter Aykroyd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can tell. You can tell too. <laughs> At no point did anybody go. Mm, no, this is this is a bit too odd. I, I don't think we should do this. It's it's yeah. like they said. Oh, the guy that. The guy that's one of the primaries, Ghostbusters. What? Let's give him complete control and some money. What could go wrong? <laughs> well, if you ever heard about the like the rough drafts of, of uh, Ghostbusters and uh, the things that he had ideas for, that movie would have been awful. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. so much retarded shit in there, and so like, yeah, it, it looks like I, I, I. When did nothing but trouble come out? Like, it was like a late nineteen ninety one. Oh, I was gonna say like eighty-eight or eighty-nine, but no. okay, so that's a wow. Not only it that, was... it, it cost forty-five million dollars to make, and it made eight point four million. Oh God! Wow! Could you imagine? Me. Nothing, nothing about that movie looks like it cost forty-five million dollars, no. other than Chevy Chase's salary or some shit. Yeah, you know? probably. Uh, excuse me. I think you'll tab. find. I think you'll find that the Bone Stripper had quite a lot of money in it. Yeah. Is all, yeah, they put all that money on on the screen. That's for sure. Um, Big Gate has just said nothing but trouble is a good example of why some directors, um, some actors shouldn't direct, be directors. Perfectly true. That yeah. there are some people who you can either. You, I, I don't know. I I won't say the direction was bad, but the writing was the major problem because the the film was just you know having the yeah. whole rap in the middle of it, and then they do do the rap for the wedding. <laughs> With Chevy Chase and the female John Candy and stuff, it was just—it was so weird. Yeah. But, but again, you going into it, you wouldn't have expected to see something like you'd expected, like a Spies Like Us or or a Ghostbusters type of thing. Whereas this was just—it was. You know, in the when I was a kid in the eighties, I thought Chevy Chase was hilarious. Then I grew up and I've watched a lot of those movies that I thought were hilarious back then. <laughs> He's not funny. Like spies like us is okay, but not because of him. And yeah. you know, it's I don't just know. Like, I still love him in his prime. I don't. It's like he, it's the most. It's. I don't know how. To I don't know. I mean, I will give him things like I still think Caddyshack is funny. Yeah, but yeah, not because yeah. of him. Not because of him. Well, that's true. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That is true. Yeah. I mean, um, I still love the vacation movies. Uh, funny Farm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Funny Farm's okay. really good. But he, he, the vacation movies, he fits in pretty good in there because that's sort of like, that's before he like, started playing the same guy in every movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, the, to be fair, yeah, does that. the the newest movie that he did that I thought uh, was great was uh, Hot Tub Time Machine. I mean, his character was all right, but like overall, I thought the movie was way more funnier than I thought. It, it was, was. Yeah, the the movie is funnier than it had any right to be. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I don't but, really remember that, but oh, it's very, it's actually uh, very watch funny. It, yeah. yeah, you I should check it, it back on the list. Skip I mean, the going, se skip the sequel, but watch the yeah. first one. But so going through, I put in a, a random list of um, weird movies, and some of them kind of. Uh, I think some of them are kind of weird, and then some of them are. They've got things like um, Jorodowski's El Topo and uh, the, the that, one on the map. That's more. I don't art house. Art house. Yeah, that's. I don't know. There's a difference between weird movie and like art house to me. That's that's what I'm saying. This list that I found out, like I say, this. I mean, it's got like for example, Donnie Darko. No, again, funny enough, I was talking to somebody about this just the other day, and it was kind of like, what's it about? Well, it's about like a time traveling rabbit 
that 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 tells this guy that the end of the world's gonna gonna happen. I don't. Donnie Darko <laughs> is not a weird film. It is an art house film. The director's yeah. follow up, Southland Tales. Now that is a weird film. That's a yes. Now, okay, okay, you want to talk about weird film? Go on. Go on. Uh, if you watch the special edition or whatever of Donnie Darko, they they had a contest for the biggest fan to document um, how they're such a fan. And the guy that they picked, <laughs> dude's fucking weird. <laughs> like he he, uh, I I think it was the director that he like went to go shake hands with, and then like pulled him closer so he could give him a kiss on the cheek or some shit, and then he like runs off and he has it all <laughs> recorded and everything. It's fucking weird. Like do like okay. he's like I don't know why, but I had to like buy the movie every time. Stupid shit. He he like went on this obsession of trying to find the book. That is referenced in the movie, and then I, I think it was at the same event where he kissed the director. Where the director was like, "The, the book's made <laughs> up. I made it up for the movie. It's not real. That's why I can't find it." <laughs> um, we got other movies like, for example, I mean, a British classic, the original Wicker Man. Again, that is pretty weird. That's that is just weird. one of those. It's and all the. I mean, seeing Christopher Lee dancing around in this kind of like frock and everything else was just kind of. Uh huh. Right. Is, vi- is is visitor Q on that list? <laughs> Most likely, I'm going through here now. He's got things like Clockwork Orange, Stalker, um, uh, which I do like. It. But again, that's more our house. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't. We whoever made that list, it doesn't know the difference between art house and weird. I mean, I think there's 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 a lot of blurring the lines there that happen. Yeah, they, I mean, they can be both for sure. It's it's yeah. got on here, funny enough, like Bronson. Um, I don't think really? that's weird. I haven't yeah, seen but, it. Like nothing I've uh, seen of it seems weird. But with it, it could have been quite a sort of documentary almost of Bronson. But there are those moments where he's kind of dressed up in all this makeup and everything else, and it, it is it is a weird film. Um, Altered States. That's definitely weird. I mean, um, we. I mean, we have to like. What's the definition that we're going to use for weird? <laughs> like, because. Yeah, what's the gold standard here? So, eraser head, I mean, eraser head is definitely our house, but it's weird. It's just nonsense, almost nonsensically weird. Visitor Q is on there, but also is um, Zardoz. Zardoz. Zardoz is definitely With weird. Sean Connery. Yeah, because yeah. again, That's that is weird. one of those films where it's just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I mean, I really like the idea of these. Uh, people gods whatever that I, I don't remember exactly if they're gods or not but they're immortals and they've yeah. been around so long that they they, they can't even get the, like their dicks up because they they've <laughs> experienced everything so much so often that it's like eh nothing you know and then Sean Porn- kind of stands there looking at it and makes his dick get hard just by staring at it in front of them hmm. just putting them all in the shame pretty base it's, it's got Brazil on there as well and again Brazil, uh, Brazil is it, yeah, it's a, that again. It's, it's 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 kind of based in a reality, but the whole thing is ridiculously weird all the way through. I mean, it's Especially... weird at the end. Like that's when it really yeah. gets off the tracks. Yeah, I tell you, a weird one in that vein is Explorers. The 80, 80s era, like Ethan Hawke is in it, and River Phoenix. Yeah, the, they, the end of that it just yeah, becomes yeah, just too weird. Just doesn't spirals it? out into this like unwatchable strangeness. Oh, okay, hold on. T- Big like, just said, yeah, Mars Attacks is weird, but enjoyable. No, oh. not really. I don't think it's weird. It's based I mean, on a like a you know fifties comic book. Sci- no, I don't think it's. Yeah. Weird. I mean, yeah, it's it's very much in the vein of the old fifties sci fi movies and stuff like that. But I would argue a lot of those movies are weird. <laughs> like, I watched one recently where they had this giant lobster that was the monster, and all you saw is a a silhouette mm. of a lobster. Like, it's like that's weird. <laughs> Um, funny enough, one of the one of the ones that I saw on this list, which is maybe put up the the um edit for the for the article, was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Because again, that is just it's a really weird. Film. It is that weird. Too. Yeah, that that is extremely weird. Yeah, that boat ride is fucking. Yeah, weird. yeah. <laughs> that, it's actually quite ride. freaky. Yeah, yeah. Um, Barbarella is another good one. Um, Barbarella again, is pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Barbarella. I know I know the movie, but I don't think I've it's seen pretty. It. It's pretty weird. It's almost like a softcore porn in a lot well, of ways. F- funny no. enough, I only watched it in the last like six months, and I reviewed it, and I said, 15 year old me thought this was like 
way way good and like now what 40 year old me was kind of eh. <laughs> i mean like you know. hell comes the frog town was that way for me i i recently rewatched it for my uh <laughs> movies that should be remade i wanted the refresher on it um and it's like as a kid i remember I, I i watched it a bunch as a kid and i loved it and then watching it now as a doll I'm like this movie's weird but also like there's like some really glaring mistakes here that like if if i would not have watched <laughs> yeah. it as a kid there would Wait be a no nostalgia there. Wait a minute, you're saying in a movie called Hell Comes to Frog Town is not perfect? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not about it being perfect. It's just, it has a lot. Of, it has issues. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Like, Lost, Lost Highway, again, is just, I have seen that. And it, I, I mean, it is David Lynch. So, I mean, it's kind of bordering on that. Art everything he, everything oh. he makes is a little weird. I, I, I would <laughs> even say that I would, David Lynch, like, it's not even our house to me. It's like Cronenberg, too, makes some weird stuff. Yeah. I mean, oh, you yeah. could argue oh, art. Video, video yeah. drone has just come up on my list of here. Yeah, um, no surprise. What, what about things like Tokyo Gore Police? There's nothing wrong with that. It's not weird. I mean, it's Asian. you got to, that's it's, a different It's standard. a little bit weird. See, and that's, that's, that's another, like, thing about weird movies. Like, a lot of, uh, Four cultural are yeah weird. well i mean the you cultural, look at like, a difference the cultural difference though i mean to yeah. us it's weird but yeah, is it really that weird if you're japanese not. maybe not now visitor q is weird uh you <laughs> yeah. know the guy guy at the start of the movie is banging a hooker that's his own daughter later on he's screwing a dead body and she she goes into uh into uh rigor mortis and he gets stuck in her and his wife has to help him Get yourself out of her by pouring vinegar on them. There's uh, it's, nothing weird about that. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> oh, like oh. twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Phantom of Paradise. That's a pretty weird one. Yeah, that That's pretty is weird. that. I love that movie. The music in that movie is what really sells it for me. Um, I do like Phantom of Paradise, though, and the music in it is fantastic. But again, it's just one of those films where it's just it's very bizarre. Funny enough, yeah. weirdly, they've got up here Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Which, again, it is a weird film because it's done in that comic book way. No, I would I think, just call it. I would just call it like style, very like hyper stylish. You know. See, yeah, that's a, that's a yeah. Like I was just kind of thinking of that, like stylized. You know, stylized. Yeah, it's 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 style over substance to me. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't yeah. really like Scott Pilgrim, like, but like that whole video game <laughs> um, aspect yeah. to it and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, see. I, this is this is weird to have a movie like this on there. Society by Brian uh, Usen. Now that 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 is truly a weird movie. The Shunting. <laughs> that movie has haunted me my entire life. I'm going to finally watch it this October for Halloween. Uh, for you, you've movies. never like, have you never? I've seen never it fucking watched it. I um, I have heard about this movie. It, it's so amped up there in the back of my mind. It's like when I was a kid, though, like uh, my my mom's best friend's son. He's like ten years older than me. And he would let me watch all kinds of horror movies, like all <laughs> like all the Friday Thirteenth and stuff. Yeah. But he wouldn't let me watch the first Nightmare on Elm Street. He was he was like, no, no, you can't watch that one. So like a chunk of my life up until I into my teens, I, that like really built up <laughs> in, in my head that it was something crazy. And then I finally watched it, and like it's one of those things of like I was, it's an all right movie. I don't really like the Friday Third, um, the Nightmare on Elm Street movies in general, but same. Um, see, there you go. We, we, yeah. we had something but like it's, it is weird like you say how you, some movies like i say get built up so much yeah. in your mind of like oh no you shouldn't watch that it's really twisted and, yeah. and then you watch it and you just go eh, eh. well so society <laughs> does have a very weird ending and it's very yeah i yeah i've, I've seen <laughs> yeah. videos where they talk about it and everything so like yeah. i don't think i'm going to go in there and and have you like like uh yeah it's, it's not going to be yeah it's not going to be some epiphany to you or anything but it is yeah. a little it's got here as well um spirited away that is again, weird. that that is pretty weird but i don't cultural and and you yeah. know asian uh, uh superstitious and you know if you're not from asia a lot of that stuff is kind of like what the fuck but it's probably it's love the fact that i was gonna say i do love the fact though that with that it's just kind of like right then this happens and then her parents turn into pigs and then she's and it's so it's such an engaging story, even though it is completely and utterly bizarre with, with what happens, even across the cultural differences. Oh, I I love Spirited I Away. I think it's a little overrated, but it's beautiful to watch. Yeah, 
it's no mm. Princess Mononoke or or Howl's Moving Castle, but uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, no, you you don't su- suppose. You know because I said it, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck animes, man. What? Oh, no, yeah. No, what? No, yeah. What? Yeah. What? I said it. God. I said it. Someone had to say it. Kick this motherfucker out now. Goodness me, Sean. To be, to be really... fair, the this whole is death why, note thing is, this is very intriguing I'm, to me. This is why I'm the good Sean and he's the bad <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Goodness me. I must admit, going through this list of these films that I found here, I'm, there's a load of stuff on here and I'm going, oh, fancy that. Oh, fancy that as well. That, look, that looks weird. Black Moon, which is a French film from 1975, which I have seen. Sacre Bleu! What does that even mean? <laughs> Sacre Bleu! Sacred, what is... It I means sacred it blue. That's what it means. Are you serious? That's it? Yeah. Is that real? Because, because funny enough, I, it was the same with me, that it was kind of like, you know, somebody kept saying, oh, Sacre Bleu, and it was like, sacred blue. What, 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 do, you mean, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I, oh, I thought it was a... some curse word. Now I'm yeah, so disappointed. Like, oh my God. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Or seek a bit. Now, here's a name that we do have to mention with weird movies is um, Panos Cosmatos, Beyond the Black Rainbow. Oh, that. I tried pretty, watching the movie. I think it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's uh, weird, but. I, 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 I love the attack on the essences, like Mandy. Yeah. Because Mandy yeah, was I... another one. It's, it's, you know, yeah. it's attack on every sense in every way. It's great. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I like it. it, but I guess yeah, it is weird. I suppose Mandy would be. I would qualify Mandy as weird too. I suppose. Yeah, Mandy's a weird movie. Oh, I yeah. liked Mandy. It wasn't great, but I, I I was entertained by it. Where I couldn't finish uh, the the Black Rambo. I, I well, I that's no couldn't... surprise. You don't like driving. You don't like anime. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh... I, I I I I watched it when it first came out, or, or attempted to, and I I got so fucking bored. I was. I was at the point where I'm like doing other things on the internet. I'm not paying attention to it at all anymore. I'm like, what's happening? And I'm like, fuck this movie. And I thought about going back and, and watching it again because I think the director has done other stuff that I do like. What movie are you talking about? Of, uh, the director from Black Rainbow. Oh, oh, he's not done a lot though. No, and Panos Cosmatos. No, he's not. He has got a new one coming out quite soon. You know, Which he's, I'm really looking forward to because I, I love his work. His, his dad is the, was the director of uh, uh, Cobra, Rambo Two, uh, suppose really? alle- allegedly Tombstone with. Uh, <laughs> when Kurt Russell wasn't directing it. Well, I mean, we <laughs> all know that, but you know, he <laughs> he he's got the credit for it though. Oh right! Oh weird! Oh, that's, you didn't oh, know that. Yeah. No, no, the, no, you know, see, this is the problem when you go on a movie podcast with guys that claim they like movies and they really, you know, the oh, English me, guys don't really know hell. shit about I'm movies. I'm sorry I don't know everything in the world. I'll study for next week. So, I Big just Gator, never, I just never Big, realized that. Big Gator keeps bringing up Mulholland Drive. Uh, that's a weird movie to me. I agree. But to me, that, Again, that seems a bit more, more our house. Yeah, you know what? Like, when, you say when, our house, but I I think of it as more like insufferable, uh, pretentious. Like, pretentious. That's what I was. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I. So the, there's there's art house, there's weird, then there's art house, and there's just pretentious. And David Lynch's shit is fucking pretentious. I mean, we. That's another. I mean, like art house. Like, what defines art house? Because like to me, anything that's like not a big budget movie, I would consider art house. I guess uh, independent. I guess no, I, I, but. So an art to now this is just you know me this is not some I'm not trying to def, you know define it art house to me would be something that's like it's a labor of love it's it's very earnest it's a it's really tra- it's got high quality acting and usually sometimes high quality actors that take a pay cut to do the movie it it's trying yeah. to really say something it's got mm. very, you know the mood the ambiance is very well defined you know, uh, sure, yeah. You know, what I was I mean? going to say, what's his name? Um, Ari Aster's like that. He's he's one of those people that you watch his film and then you have to go on several YouTube videos to, to so, explain what's been so, happening. So the Nor- the Northman would be, you know, very is very much an art house movie. Um, yeah, I I would argue that Dinner in America is an art house film, although not not very pretentious. Um, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. See, I think our house, I think like drama or something like that. I, I mean, I can see where you're coming from with saying the Northman well, is, is an art house, but 
like to me it's so it's so fucking savage and base that it's well like, it, yeah no i mean our house movies can be very you know bloody and go- um sure, yeah. uh, 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 um shit i had one on the tip of my tongue there and forgot it um uh, the lighthouse is definitely art house. Oh yeah, uh, very, very Paul, house, Paul, yeah. Paul, Paul, Paul Thomas Anderson and Wes Anderson's films both are art house oh, types. Yeah, the, but yeah. The, you know you establish a certain aesthetic, a, a very well defined aesthetic, a, a very well defined mood, uh, a f- very certain themes that are you know. Yeah, we're, like artsy, not, like those movies yeah, that seem like really yeah, artsy to me. Yeah, very earnest. It, it's mm. not a. Not a popcorn blockbuster like mass consumption Marvel goy slop kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's fair enough. Yeah, I mean I'm that's that that that's a very sweeping, I guess, attempt to define it. it like porn, you know, uh, it's hard to define, but you know it when you see it. You know what I mean? Oh God, you're <laughs> a fucking fed. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill the mood with my. No, he's muted. <laughs> oh, oh, you've muted yourself, you dumbass. <laughs> You're still muted. Well, let's carry on without him. All right. So anyway, porn. Yeah, some art house porn movies would be. Uh, you know, there actually would be some art house porn movies, like Behind the Green Door, for instance, would probably nearly qualify as an art house porn movie. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, Dog- I mean, Dog- back Dog-a-rama. in the seventies, like they took their porn seriously you know they, yeah, they yeah. saw it as a real thing not like what it is today it, it wasn't gonzo like it is today you know it could be you're still muted he's he's doing a bit that he thinks is funny but it's not <laughs> he really thinks it's funny to do this he's done it before i don't it feel if you're pretending to be muted it's the jokes stop you're muted <laughs> does he do, can he i don't think he can hear us but then he would like see me talking and be like, I, I can't hear Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. So anyway, weird movie. What, so Eraserhead, have you ever seen Eraserhead? Yeah, that, that's I, a pretentious movie. To yeah, me. yeah, right. It's very pretentious. And and I think sometimes he tries to be weird, but out of pretension. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Right, I'm back. Bloody yes, thing. finally, idiot. <laughs> I was actually talking and think, yeah, no, right, so many, so many, so many things saying, yeah, you're still muted. Yes, I apologize for that. Technical issues. I think I need a new cable for my um, microphone is what it is. Or why Eternal, it better. Eternal Sunshine. It. I don't know if Eternal Sunshine is spotless. My, that's more of a pretentious art house movie. I don't know if I'd call that weird. Yeah, Being I would John call Malkovich it weird. is weird. Uh, no, that's definitely an art house sort of pretentious art house I mean, movie i think i haven't i haven't seen john being john Malkovich all the way through i've i've seen the part where he goes in and, and sees for himself and he just sees himself as everyone have you finished any movie sean <laughs> <laughs> I, you know there's like this fucking thing that's going on here the the when i'm on here we seem to talk about movies that i've never seen or have apparently now in this show have partly seen <laughs> <laughs> But like that, right that, that's more of like me watching videos about the, being John Milton. I, I never like sat down and didn't finish watching it. I read a synopsis of a couple I, of films, so I think I know them quite well. I've never, uh, I've never <laughs> seen it, but I've seen Cecil talking about it. That's close enough. <laughs> yeah, so I, if, I can say that on a lot of movies. As a summary, then, what, as a summary, then, what would you say is the weirdest film you've ever seen? Oh, man, oh I'm god, to think of, like I don't. I've seen a lot of. Okay, all right. From this year, Skidmer Rink. I would say that's a weird movie, but okay. like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an insufferable piece of shit. Like I, Again, my blood was boiling. Like yeah, that was a very pretentious bullshit fucking movie. I fuck calling it a movie. All it is 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 camera angles, staring at walls, TVs, and under beds for an hour and a half, maybe a yeah. longer. I think, and then people whispering, it. like fuck that. It's weird. It's weird as fuck, but it's, it's fucking it, bullshit. It was, I found it interesting, but it's a film I'd never... It, I mean, it's a hard film to watch because it is, it is so insufferably long. The, I mean, it, the, 
the concept of the, the plot of it sounded interesting. I mean, that's the whole reason why I watched it. I'm like, oh, this is about these kids that are in a house that Getting apparently has no and, way of getting yeah. out. They're trapped. Yeah. And and like doors and windows appear and disappear. Like, all right. And then like it never really fucking happens. Like, I think a couple of times you see something like that. Other other than that, it's just staring at the fucking floor. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or oh. just oh, yeah, like you say, odd angles of, of like the corner of the room and stuff like that. And yeah. Then, and these, I, I ended up watching it at 1.5 speed about halfway through because I was like, <laughs> fuck this. Like, I, I'm not. I, I do not. Like, I try to make, you know, to go back to not finish movies, I try to make it a rule to finish a movie no matter how bad it is. And that's something that I've been doing, I'd say, in the last 10 years. You know, like, before that, I never gave a shit. But, like, yeah, this movie was just so fucking boring and stupid and, and <laughs> fucking pretentious that I was like, I am fucking putting this on fast mode and just letting it go fair enough sean what what would you say is your weirdest uh dude do you uh, i mean do you know the kind of stuff i watch <laughs> yeah i mean like he could throw a rock and he'll <laughs> there's a movie that he likes that's weird <laughs> yeah. like, anything on my dvd collection behind me anything <laughs> I, 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 okay i'm gonna give you two different answers one that you're not gonna like and then one that probably the audience would probably say oh yeah that's something sean would watch so the first the one that you would probably nobody be surprised and say like, Oh, that's the beyond 1981, uh, Fulci movie. It's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. But in reality or not in reality, but one that I really think is weird is the two, um, Tim Burton, Batman movies. I think they're weird as fuck. Like they really, especially the sequel. Yeah. The second one, it's like, so we had more, more control. Weird. Yeah. It's no. just so weird. I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's a I'm, main. I, that, I do that's see a, what you're saying. I picked that as a mainstream movie that most people say, like Visitor Q. I I would probably mm -hmm. throw in there or something like that. But you know, that's nobody. Say, you know, I doubt anybody watching has seen that. But yeah, the yeah, it is one of those films. <laughs> yeah, I mean to to go back to um uh, the fifty <coughs> sci fi type stuff being weird. I would say Plan uh Plan Nine from Outer Space is a weird movie. No, I, I mean, don't think that's weird. It's just, it's just, a, it's just not that good. You know, it's just. Well, it's it's not good. I mean, it's one of those that's so bad it's good, and it's cheesy, schlocky stuff like that. But like the the concept of it, like, is weird to me. Like, I, it's a, I mean, it's a straightforward plot, but like, just, um, I I don't know. I I find the, I think the whole thing of it mixed together the way it is, I find it weird. Yeah, I mm. mean, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, the the um, big gate has just said meet the feebles that is yeah a super weird super weird movie um what's dead the alive. one dead alive is it weird that's just a over-the-top horror movie also known as um um it's got another title you would know it by in the in the uk i'm trying to think of what it's called dead alive you no brain it brain it, it yeah it's from the you know peter jackson one of his first horror movies it's got oh, another Brain title, Dead. Brain Dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> uh, old boy, the original. Um, uh, that's an yeah, ex no, yeah, excellent. No. Yeah, excellent it's a great movie. movie. I really enjoy that's, it. That is weird. That is that is dead weird. Goodness me, old boy. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's weird. I think it's that. That's another. I call that that's art a, house. Yeah, that's a that's an art house and a and a foreign cultural. Art house kind of thing, you know. Battle Royale, Battle Royale is Battle Royale weird. is not weird. That is probably <laughs> on any uh -oh. given day. I would I mean, tell as you a, that that, uh -oh. that is my all time favorite movie. I mean, I I that's a, another movie that I really like, but like I think that's a cultural kind of weirdness. Like in Japan, that seems like something that no one would find weird, but like here, I think people would find it weird, especially being that it's like high school kids that are. I don't know. It, it, it's other. it's not too culturally weird because they they ripped it off and made this series with Jennifer Lawrence, who's hit the wall later on. And oh, called and sure, it. yeah, but like <laughs> that's way way more cleaned up and yeah. bleach blit and shit. I mean, it's it's like way different. Like yeah. that's actually meant to be. Like for teenagers and stuff like that, where I, I don't know, Battle Royale, who knows? Battle, it's Japan, so. Well, Battle Royale is a product of the era that the original book was written. And and yeah. so it's like that, that, that whole worry of like, you know, uh, teenage crime and disobedience and acting out. And then 
some stuff from left over from the, yeah i mean it, it's very much yeah. a, a cultural thing that would at the time did not seem you know like i mean obviously i don't think anybody in japan really thought they was going to take a random high school class and make them fight to the death but <laughs> the, the thing that's a good idea now it is a great idea now. No, they would all just sit around and cry at each other and like yeah, yeah, they wouldn't right. do it. They try to no cancel balls. each whoever canceled each other fastest on Twitter would be the Why are you crying? Winner. Did he stab you? No, he didn't like my comment. He used the wrong <laughs> gender pronoun on Twitter. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay too. That's fine. Okie doke. Okie doke. <laughs> No, no, no. We're, we're like I say, we're just <laughs> we're just going to get ourselves in trouble. Is what we're going to do. Um, oh. So, yeah. What so, you, what's what? your pick? What's your pick of weirdest? For yeah. me, it's weird because again, I keep thinking of stuff going over in my head. And to me, like I say, that just the weirdest one that comes to my mind is because I just saw it the other day. Is that um, uh, nothing but trouble? Because I just didn't yeah. know what to expect. I thought that it is, was going to yeah. be. That's a. You know what? That is a legit. Uh, that's a com- weird movie. It is yeah. weird. I, I I would probably like award you, like if we were running some kind of competition. You've muted yourself again. Bloody microphone! You're oh, you're no, good. You're fine. good. There you go. Don't touch anything. Oh, right, now you got to make noise so we know. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tro 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 prince the water is in the chat. I'm curious what he considers the. Uh, he's usually got some pretty good takes. I want to know what he. Go. Put it on the website. Put it on the article. On the article, so we can have a. We can read it from there. We can um, read it from the chat. There's literally a chat right here in real time. No, we're we can... wrapping up. It's been an hour and a half. We're not doing a Yoda. We're oh, only here okay. for three hours right. talking about the same thing and having a little rant. Um, right. <laughs> so, um, yes, thank you for joining us on the Outpost Frequencies. Uh, we hold the stream every Sunday, unless some people can't be bothered, <laughs> like last week. Apologies for that. Um, but yeah, whopper, every whopper, Sunday. whopper, whopper, junior, double, triple, whopper. I was working. I was out. I was. I was working last week. It was. I had. She had a nice week. I had, I had quite a good time as well. What I, I do was, love about going away I, and working is always having dinner out. So I went to several pubs and had several sort of like massive, great chunky burgers and that kind of thing. So yeah, it was. A, it was a good week. I, I've been busy this summer, living my life and doing things and. Enjoying touching grass and letting sun hit me and not talking about Kathleen Kennedy or Disney. So it's been pretty cool. Well, we I got it. Be- but now you yeah. mention it. No. <laughs> so, so anyway, Disney. Um, like I say, make sure you come to the last movie outpost for all of your movie news, reviews and everything cool about film. We try to get articles up every single day, including reviews and uh, of, of new movies, old movies, any kind of movies. Um, there's chat on there that you can talk back. Um, and you can find us all on Twitter and blah 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 yada yada yada. yada. Um, Not on Instagram. B. Can't can't oh, yeah, find me on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've got to get back into that. It's just one of those things I've been neglecting. I apologise. Um, Sean B, any last words from you, my friend? Uh, I spent the last two days watching the first three Species movies. Uh, the first two I watched it was rewatches. Um, but Species movie with with. Did you say that's that's the hundreds? Yeah. That's so that's wait a minute. Hundreds. So he wouldn't finish like Drive or something, but he'll watch <laughs> three of the worst sci-fi Hold movies on. from the nineties. Hold on. First of all, the, I can the give first you two good reasons. Great. I can I can give you two good reasons why to watch those movies. <laughs> yeah, she, her, and they both belong yes. to Natasha Henstridge. <laughs> she's got great personality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the third movie, she's only in it for like five seconds. So I know. Yeah, I remember that as a kid being quite an erotic classic, and then watching it again, it was kind of, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even have yeah. time to grab a tissue. Speak, speaking of hit the wall, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen her uh, since, uh, God damn, I don't know what. Just then, then don't. Just let her. Just who let her. Keep... Well, not to. I have she's... to. No, who, she's married to somebody famous, isn't she? Probably. The King of England, I heard. No, 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 no. It was. I'm very somebody... Hang on, I'm, I'm going to find it because it was somebody weird. It doesn't um, matter. We're trying to wrap up. Let him finish his species story. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Um, so, yeah, like, I mean, the first one, I still really like it. Um, it has its issues, but it's still, it's alien, shocky gore. Uh, the second one, not as good. Still decent and watchable. The third one, fucking trash. Complete trash. <laughs> There's a point in, in that movie 
where one character says to another one, as you know, and I fucking lost my mind. I'm like, that's like <laughs> the laziest fucking trope in goddamn movies. <laughs> I can't fucking stand it. Like, that is the worst. Like, that is like the number, like, one of the worst things that, that you can do in a that, fucking movie. That is as, that's as lazy as somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> God. You know what? We almost went a full day without you bringing up fucking Star Wars, and there you ruined it. Was that Star Wars? Was it? Oh, sorry, I thought it was um, Twins with Danny DeVito and Son of Swords now. It is. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My, Mia Culpa. I forgot that that was the name of the of the uh, the triplet. That just come- just to mention just to mention that Sasha Henstridge, she was married to a guy called Darius, who was they had when that's um, a great name. That's a great name. He, but one of, weirdly, he was on a talent program in the UK called, I think it was like called Pop Idols or something, and he was a right pretentious singer of a toss spot, but he kind he of became be famous from it. But it was really weird. It was this really weird the... that he then ended up with Natasha Henstridge. It's like wow, really man. bizarre. This is the most fascinating story I've ever heard. For English people it is, because they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, now speaking, swine. speaking of weird, look at the, what's her name, married to the dude, um, the dude that was the lead singer for the Cars, uh, what was her name and his name? Rick Ocasek's wife there, uh, and that supermodel that married him. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I'm not the only. Idea. I'm well. You're too young, probably. To... <laughs> it's only like two years in it. But Look, yeah. uh, all these fucking rock stars somehow get a fucking hot tails. Oh, I mean, he looks. He literally looks like Ica. Well, he's dead now, but he literally looked like Ichabod Crane from the Disney. Halloween special. <laughs> like, I'm not even jo- And she's like this uh, super mom. Look it up real quick, Phil. I mean, she was like, oh, dude, like one of the hottest Put it of the 80s. So I don't have to That's the up. same as, what's his name? Pete. Pete. Um, oh, what's he called? Oh. Pete he Townsend? went out with Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, but he went out with Kate Beckinsale. Oh, I'm getting oh, Kate uh, Beckinsale. Oh, well. Pete uh, Davidson. Pete Davidson, yeah. Oh, yeah, Jesus and again, Christ. you're just thinking, seriously, what the hell is did that you, about? Did you see that pictures of her celebrating her 50th birthday party the other day where she's wearing that friggin'? Oh, no. uh, pull that up, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. She, uh, she, she has not. Speaking of not hitting the wall, God Kate Beckinsale has not hit the wall. Neither has Elizabeth Hurley. No, God, dear. Elizabeth Hurley. I'm, I'm looking forward to that new movie with Elizabeth Hurley where she gets completely naked for her son who directed it. Wait, Dude. What? <laughs> Speaking of weird movies, what? Someone got naked for their son? <laughs> Dario and Gento moment right there. <laughs> um, right, okay, we are wrapping up. Any last words from you, Sean T? Whopper, 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 whopper. Junior double, triple whopper. Hello, Chad. Goodbye, Chad. No, we're not going to start over again. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You Hear know, me out. You know oh, yeah, it's yeah, six wait. o'clock every well, night. Well, I mean, he does. I mean, dude, he did miss it. Come on, man. Let's start over. Let's uh, start all what, over. What are we, Barbie? Was the first? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Outpost Frequency. This week we'll be discussing weird movies, uh, <laughs> hitting the wall, Ben Shapiro, my Ben oh, Shapiro just... imitation. Um, right, I, no, I was just going to say that. Um, so, thank you for joining us for probably what is the best show that we've ever done. I mean, if I'd have missed a show, I'd have slit my wrist. Oh, this was the um, be- this goes down the record books, man. Easily. I mean, I can't believe we had the special guests that we just had pop up. Daniel Craig popped in. Steven Spielberg <laughs> said hello. <laughs> Oh dear, and it was so nice for Gina Carano to come in and just talk about her, her experience with Disney and stuff. I mean, the the, oh, the, the bomb she dropped were unbelievable. And, and unbelievable. I can't be- and I can't believe Kate Beckinsale was here and showed us her tits. <laughs> Too bad we have to oh, private dude. the stream now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and Daniel Craig left Mike quickly because I had to let him know that he was the worst Bond ever. <gasps> Controversial. On that note, we are going to say goodbye. See you all next week. Chad, be here on time. Idiot. <laughs> that was an excerpt from the Outpost Frequencies brought to you by the last movie Outpost.com. We hold a live stream every Sunday at 12 p.m. on Central Time and 6 p.m. UK time. You're welcome to join us. In the meantime, make sure you visit the last movie Outpost.com for all of your movie news, reviews, and everything cool about film. So cheesy.